So there is a service we've been using behind the scenes without really knowing it, and it's at the center of AWS. It's called AWS SDS for Security Token Service. This enables you to create temporary limited privileges credentials to access your AWS resources. That means that you get short-term credentials, just like your access key and your secret access key, but you can configure your expiration period. So the user, for example, has access to your role and they wants to leverage that role. So what it's going to do is that it's going to assume the role using an STS API call. It will talk to the STS service and the result of this API call will be STS sending us back some temporary security credentials. And they look just like an access key, a security access key, as a security key, as well as a session key, which is going to be limited in time. And using these three credentials, we're going to access our AWS resources and using the, using the role we just assumed. So the idea is that the use cases can be multiple. Number one, it would be identity federation, for example, to manage user identities in external systems and provide them with STS tokens to access AWS resources, or for IAM roles access for cross or same account access, which is the exact example I showed you on the right-hand side. Or finally, when we use it behind the scenes in the course is that when we provide an IAM role to our EC2 instances, behind the scene, there's a script that actually refreshes the EC2 credentials using the, the security token service in the backend. So that's it. Anytime from an exam perspective that you see you need to create temporary limited privileges credentials to AWS, think AWS SDS. That's it. I will see you in the next lecture.